He lost his uncle. He lost his dear wife, the mother of the believer, the one he supported financially and morally. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Islam, Rabbi Shrahli Sadri, Wesrli Amri, Wahlulok, Data Milisani, Yafkahu Kauli. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa fakana. He has a, uh, just prayed a salat here in the Masjid of Ivy City. This is really great. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Allah wa fakana. This is from the Fadl Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So on today's world, we are really in an unprecedented time and situation. With this the pandemic going around the world, is hurting a lot of people. Uh, not even to pray in the masjid, but it's really hurting the families not to con come to congregate together and share you know, the sorrows and also the hardship they are suffering day in, day out. When you look at the story, uh, you know, the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Prophet Muhammad story, you will learn that there are a lot of sufferings that Prophet Muhammad, one of the last prophets of all in this world, is Prophet Muhammad. See, there are, uh, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam started his work, almost all the people of his city opposed him. And he started preaching people to come join the religion of Islam. Almost every people refused him, opposed him. For all of his life, as a man of exceptional integrity and intelligence, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is really exceptional, have really intelligence, and first, you know, subjected him to verbal attack. They start attacking him verbally, jeered him and insult him. Not only that, later on, people start to combine verbal attack with the physical aggressions. And also, they start even laying thorns in his way and also they throw garbage and dust on him. See, the suffer of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, wasn't as easy as that we can, that the, the people of uh, Muslim right now what we are suffering here because of it could be through COVID or because of different operations around the world. But Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam suffered really a lot. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam lost their father at the young age and their mother and as well as his beautiful wife. So ladies and gentlemen, let's be strong. This is I know it's a really challenging time and it's very hardship time, but let's be strong. Let's be strong. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, bring this challenging time. It's not just for nothing, it's for reasons too. Maybe you plan to make a hajj and you may not be able to do it because of this situation. But inshallah, there are so many bright days it will come in the future. Let's be strong. And let's think what Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has suffered during that time, their families, you know, people around them, people who were saying that Muhammadul Amin, they refused to accept them, to accept the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam message. So it was really, really diff like difficult time at that time. But Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, perseverance, strength. And now we are at the time where there is. The religion of Islam is one of really the fastest growing religion in the world. Yes, and gentlemen, this is really an unprecedented time, but inshallah, through our strengths, and inshallah, will pass with Allah's support, will pass and have, will have a very good time to pray in the masjid and you know, come together in the masjid as usual. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So we need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this time to make us whole and give us a good time. He lost his uncle. 
He lost his dear wife, the mother of the believer, the one he supported financially and morally and emotionally, Khadija. Even the call the Amal Hus sadness, the air of the sadness at that time. He been through a lot of difficulties. Isa salam, Jesus, trying to be crucified, trying to be killed. Zechariah, the prophet Zechariah, being killed. Yahya, many.
Yosef alayhi salam. Yosef, he is the prophet. He is the son of the prophet. He is the son of the grandfather is prophet. His own people, his own brother, his flesh and blood. They plot against him. They have a conspiracy against him. Some of them, they said, kill him, get rid of him. Some of them say, no, try to cast him in, uh, out in another land. Some of them say, no, let us to uh, throw him in uh, the bottom of the world. And let the travelers to pick him up. And that's what it happened. They saw him, the bottom of the world, and the sayyara, the traveler, they pick him up, and they sold him, sold him, with the cheap, reduced price. And then, he been in a prison. And then, the wife of the king seduced him. Seduced him many, many times. Tried to have a fornication with him. Tried to sleep with him. And yet, he holds himself in patience. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had many tabiyas for Allah, Allah will reward you. That's why Allah put him in charge. Finally, Yusuf been in charge of the store of the house for the whole land. 